you need an incredible animated logo to end off this video that you're editing. I need an incredible animated logo to end off this video. And you're bored of just dropping a logo onto the timeline and keyframing the scale so that it looks like you tried really hard to make it more interesting. I get it, we've all been there. But what if I told you you could create killer animated logos in Final Cut Pro in seconds that look like this? That, that actually looks pretty cool. It's also really cool to hit that like button. Today, we're going to look at M Logo Cinematic by Motion VFX, and I created this cool logo animation in just a matter of seconds using the plugin. Also, if you want to get $15 to spend at motionvfx.com to get this plugin or any other plugin for that matter, then stick around because I'm going to tell you exactly how to do that later in the video, and I'm not going to put it in the description. Let's take a look at what you get in the M Logo Cinematic Pack. You get 26 incredible logo animations and seven typography templates that you can combine to create stunning logo animations and taglines for your clients' videos or even your own videos. The best part is they are super easy to use. Let me show you how they work. No, I'll show them how to do it. Here are the 26 different templates to choose from. And for this example, I'll go ahead and pick number 12, this one with the cool lights. Now, the first thing I need to do is add my logo to this drop zone. So I'll head over to my browser and I've already got my Apple logo in here. You can't see it because it's a black logo on a PNG. I'll just select that and hit Command Shift R to reveal in Finder. And here you can see it's just a plain black Apple logo. So with my logo title selected, I'm going to click on this drop zone and then just go ahead and select the Apple logo in the browser. I'll hit Apply Clip and I can see it's being cropped off here. So the first thing I want to do is to change the logo inside scale, just to bring that down a little bit. And I'm going to bring the logo scale down somewhere around there. If I double click on the top of my inspector, you can see all of these parameters that we've got here for this plugin. In this case, I'm going to turn the letterbox off and I'm going to turn the noise down to like 10% or so. And you can see there's all sorts of different settings you can choose here. I can go in and change the color of the lights if I want. You know, you could make them any color you like. And if I scrub through here to see what happens with this logo build, you'll notice that it lights up with the colors that we've got here and then it transitions to its original color, which in this case is black. So we're not gonna see much here. So what I'd like to do is turn this logo colorize on option on, and I'm going to keep the logo set to white. Now I'd like to add a call to action or a tagline here at the bottom of the logo. I'll head back over to my typography templates and I'm going to say right around here as the logo changes color, I want to bring in this typography template. I'll jump ahead a little bit so we can see once the animations complete what it looks like. And I'll just go ahead and change this to apple.com and think different. I can go ahead and change the font here, I'll change it to intro on both of these. And I'll just maybe adjust the size. We'll make that one a little bigger and we'll make this one about 50. I can go ahead and use the on-screen control and just drag this down. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, we have an epic logo animation. If you wanted to speed this animation up, what you could do is select both of these layers, hit Alt-G to create a compound clip, and then you can use your speed tools over here just to, let's say, double the speed. Now you have that same animation that happens at twice the speed. Now, the coolest part about these logo templates is that you don't have to only use them for logos. Anything with an alpha channel will work. So you can use your own titles like this. For this example, let's use template number 25. And I'll head over here just before the clip and hit Control T to create a basic title. Now on this title, I'll go ahead and type, stay tuned to get your $15 motion VFX credit. I'll put that onto two lines and I'll change the font here again to intro and I'm going to make it nice and big. I'll hit V to just hide that clip and over here I'm going to go ahead and select that title using this drop zone. So I'll select that text and hit apply clip. I can go ahead and adjust the logo inside scale and this is how you can create unique titles using M Logo Cinematic. 
Let's say you recorded yourself dancing on a green screen and you keyed that out and you want to put a mini you dancing on the table. Don't get excited, I'm not dancing for you, but this little alien will. All I did was drop the Kia effect onto this alien clip to remove the green, and then I hit Alt G to create a compound clip of this alien. Now, creating a compound clip when you're using video is an important step because you want to make sure that the video plays back properly in the drop zone and is not a freeze frame. Let's hide this effects browser and I'm going to use number 16. I'll scroll a bit forward until I can see the logo here and then I'm going to add this alien clip to the drop zone. I can go ahead and resize this, move it to wherever I want, sort of in the corner if that's what I want. And I can just drop that on top of my footage and I have a really cool little effect. There are so many cool ways to use the M logo cinematic templates from Motion VFX. So if you want to get your hands on this logo pack for less, make sure you click on the link down below and create a free Motion VFX account if you don't already have one. And then email partners at motionvfx.com and the team over at Motion VFX will add $15 credit to your account for you to spend on whatever you want. They have a ton of incredible plugins that I've spoken about before, like M-Tracker 3D, M-Film Look, M-Callouts, and a bunch of free plugins as well. So go ahead and click on that link down below to sign up and to get your free money. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and to hit that bell icon, and I'll see you in the next one. What he said.